hello guys welcome back to my channel mogares daryl i will here hope you guys are doing well today i have a uh, reading for aries so moon or rising or venus anywhere in your chart if you happen to be um cross watching for aries you're welcome please take what resonates and leave the rest for somebody else remember this is a general reading and if you like a personal you can book one through my website in the description down below if you also like to donate to the channel my cash app information is down below as well so Aries, let's get started with a message from your spirit guides and your higher self, and then we'll see what's coming through you this week. Okay. All right, Holy Spirit, directors of the universe, angels, and angels. What is the divine guidance for Aries? Same moon rising or Venus or anywhere in their chart. Protecting against the evil eye, no weapon from I guess Michael Prosper. I will turn uh, negativity to sender with love and light. And let's see what is the most important message for Aries. Sun, moon, or rising, or Venus. Anywhere in the short Holy Spirit. And so today, my sisters and angels. And it's card number 20th. Okay. Um, the verse of the day, Aries, for you is rise up and pray. Look, 2246. Okay. Um, let's see what it is God is about. Card number 20th. This is loved ones. Your friends and loved ones who are crossed over want you to know that they are with you. They are wrapping their loving energy around you and ask you to feel the peace and serenity within your heart. In mind about their passing they are living and enjoying the other side and deeply desire for you to be feel peaceful within this world they ask that you surrender any painful emotions that you're holding on and allow their loving presence to flow within your heart bring forth peace and serenity feel the loving energy in your full life the gift of life is here on earth all right aries uh your loved ones are here to protect you okay they want you to know they are watching over you in the next um in your life okay they are happy okay they are content and um they want you to surrender any emotions or anything that uh is happening within you uh to them so you don't have to worry about it. so release all those worries to your loved ones okay they are here to support you in your life and that you are very protected by your loved ones at this time okay let's see what is your um soul truth here aries what is your higher self trying to communicate with you aries okay all right we have when was the last time i danced freely okay and he said because it will shift you into a beautiful state because it will get you out of your head and into your body and heart because fear lives in the head along with anxiety control guilt frustration and impatience it's just a few minutes of dancing you will make the shift you will feel change of joy and confidence take over and you will feel a soul reminder to live and live from your heart dancing is a tool to grow to grant us in the now, it triggers happiness and it's get away to freedom. To become free, dance. Today's soul action. Dance for three minutes to your favorite song. Notice the inward free of growth within and feeling you feel being you. You are wild, loving force, expressing it with dance today. All right, um, Aries, it looks like you need some time to maybe um, release those energy, those um bad emotion those energies and it looks like a dance is a good way for you to um to do this okay so put on some music and and feel like dance like nobody's watching okay let go of those emotions release those stress uh within you and dance your favorite song today okay and um, you will feel so much lighter afterwards okay i think the message here is um aries you probably have i've been holding on too many emotions okay it's time to release them okay a very beautiful message here uh let's see what is coming towards you uh this week okay what is happening in your energy field i'm gonna use the monology deck here to see what's going on with you aries what is coming to you, 
Aries this week, Holy Spirit. We got a couple cards here for you. We have a time for healing, okay? Your hard work is paying off. Surrender to the divine and don't let pride get in the way, okay? So what I'm getting here, uh, you're probably going through a major transformation here and uh, you are healing from some type of... Um, situation and this time maybe a hard time maybe you lost a, a a family member or maybe you're just feeling like not yourself okay and at this time your uh, soul is asking you to heal it is time for to heal those emotions those situations okay learn from them um but your hard work is paying off here um it looks like um new moon in capricorn you probably are um part of a um a leadership or boss um like um situation either in your work or your life and um you guys are telling you your hard work that everything you've been doing is, is about to pay off okay um you guys actually want you to surrender to the divine um everything that um you cannot control okay so you know that surrender prayer where um where it is that um you know i <clears throat> it's, it's maybe you guys should look up that's when the prayer and um and 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 you know change the things you can and compromise and um and surrender to the divine all things that you cannot change okay um we don't let your prayer in a way here it seems like um you could be very prideful person okay aries and you guys are telling you is don't let your ego or your pride get in the way of the situation, okay? Anything that you can no longer control, just surrender to the divine, okay? You have um, your loved ones uh, willing to take those worries for you, okay? Um, so uh, whatever it is that you believe in, if you believe in God, you believe in your ancestors and your angels, whatever force of divine um do you believe in they're asking you to surrender that to the divine okay so let's get a little bit more deep into this um energy here aries to figure out what is that they're talking about see if i can give you some further guidance okay we have a time for healing what is aries healing at this time and And we have the truth, okay? Always be true with yourself and others involved in this current situation. So it seems like you're dealing with some sense of truth here. And you're trying to heal from it, okay? But you guys are telling you, just be always be true to yourself and everybody else involved in a current situation, okay? Being truthful is going to uh, um, it's gonna bring that healing that you need at this time, Aries. Okay, let's see. Your hard work is fine enough. What is this mean? The Holy Spirit. And we have kindness. Beautiful energy, Aries. Being kind to yourself, it will help you release the potential within. Okay, so it seems like you are this time being very uh, self caring for yourself, being kind to yourself. You're treating yourself like somebody who is worthy of receiving your potential within you and this this type of kindness in your heart is 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 gonna pay off for you okay so keep this truthful kindness um beautiful energy that you're carrying right now okay it's definitely gonna about to pay off you're gonna see the benefits of um this situation very soon whatever it's that you're dealing with here okay surrender to the divine let's see what is this energy here holy spirit everything to surrender to the divine and we have integrity okay be fair and open to others and to yourself okay so you guys want you to um to surrender to divine all the emotions and live your life by integrity okay uh live your life by your values what are your values what are you um trying to um to be fair with in this situation, okay? And uh, follow your integrity, okay? Things that are are valued for you. So if you are saying something, make sure that that truth 
your actions are with, uh, matching what you're saying, okay? So be be very um, fair and open to others and to yourself when it comes to what is it that you want, your goals and your life, and what is it that you're trying to achieve here. Being um, Having integrity is going to help you along the, uh, along the way, especially uh, all the things that you cannot control, okay? So then there is to the divine, to your loved ones. Don't let pride get in the way for Moon and Leo. forgive okay release any anger guilt hurt and pain it is now time to forgive forgiveness is the road to discovery okay so aries it looks like um you might need to either forgive yourself about something or forget somebody uh, about something or situation in your life and your spirit guys are telling you to not let your ego or pride get in the way of forgiveness okay remember when you start to forget somebody you forget yourself you do it for your own healing okay holding back uh resentments is not gonna take you anywhere so as uh, long as you learn how to forgive and remove any anger or guilt in your heart and and, and and that pain you have in your heart you're gonna feel way more lighter okay so whatever situation you're going through here Aries uh, you guys just want you to stay true to yourself be kind with yourself and others um make sure that your actions are matching your values and and and, and your integrity here okay and learn to forget forget yourself and others in this situation okay it's gonna take you um a long way you're gonna see um your hard work paying off here okay so it's all about love and kindness here okay so keep keep working in your healing keep staying true to yourself and to others and forgive others and yourself about this situation okay so let's see what is um coming towards you in this type of healing and forgiveness okay it's very strange what's going to Aries in this type of healing forgiveness at this time to switch decks here so i'm gonna try this one where is coming towards aries at this time of forgiveness and truth this is the uh, black moon astrology deck i love this deck okay give you a little more insight on the situations okay, let's see what is there. what's coming in this truth and forgiveness for aries Your area. So let's see. We have uh, part of the fortune increase. Okay, so you're probably going through a major transformation here, where you're going to start to receive the um, the blessing from the universe here. And uh, this is part of your destiny here. Okay, so whatever it is that you're going through is been all um, divine calculated, but just spirit guys. Okay, we also have the top house here, escape. Okay. And this is all about your uh, life death, your no node, okay? So you can look it up, um, Aries, what is your zodiac sign in your no node, okay? And how do you deal with these situations when it comes to your life deaths here, okay? But definitely it's time for you to uh, escape to a new um, destiny, okay? Follow that path very new to 
to create your heaven on earth here, okay, Aries? It seems like uh, the real fortune here is right in your favor, okay? So keep uh, having that love and light energy here. Be kind to others and to yourself, okay? This is part of your destiny, this situation, uh, meant to teach you a lesson, okay? Uh, and it's time for you to escape and see the, the situation with a different perspective perspective here okay um and when it comes to your uh life death know that this is uh a fated event here okay so let me clarify a little bit of these cards here with um this back here and figure out what is this part of fortune increase what is coming towards you and um the real fortune here okay that this all fitted events okay they needed to happen and wait for your soul to grow fairies okay let's see if I wrote the part of fortune please get it as soon as you can okay let's see all right so we have raise your standards okay so some of you need to set up uh some boundaries at this time okay um in Arkea Radiant is telling you, try to raise those standards, okay? Has you uh, set up boundaries with the people, places, and things around you, uh, that will for an hour is going to be in your favor, okay? Now, some of you, with this love and kindness towards others, um, it is, it's asking you to, um, to bring love to the situation here. But don't forget to, when you do that, and you forgive others, you don't, the people or place of Things that you forget, you don't have to be friends with them. You just have to, uh, if you don't want to, but just set up those, um, those boundaries, okay? Those standards, okay? Research standard. What is it you're trying to accomplish in this life, okay? And move and move from that, okay? The real fortune is going to be in your favor as soon as you raise your standards. What is it that you're trying to achieve there, okay? Destiny. Okay, so some of you guys need to uh, prioritize your plates and, and pleasure here. Arcadia Joy, um, Joy too. So some of you guys need to uh, surrender their worries and be more joyful about life, okay? Prioritize those little pressure uh, pleasures in life, okay? Go outside and um, <clears throat> smell the flowers, okay? Um, connect with nature, okay? Um, go for a nice walk, okay? Breathe fresh air. Find some time in your... Um, um, busy life to uh, prioritize play and pleasure here okay so uh, it's very important right now and it's part of your destiny has you um, get in touch with your inner child again what is that when you were a child will give you that sense of pleasure when you were playing that sense of uh, light and, and energy um, that make you feel free okay well house okay we have cleanse and detoxify okay so it's time for you guys to clean up your energy your environment okay your home um go ahead and, and do that spring cleaning take everything in your home that you no longer want donate it to other people so you don't have anything you know you know um sage just place um you could use a little bit of sage palo santo or um Dragon blood, okay. Uh, it's pretty good to uh, clear your space, okay. You can also um, do a spiritual bath here, okay, uh, to help you feel more lighter and escape uh, your reality here. Just create those emotions, okay, uh, that you've been holding back. Actually, um, seven chakra clearing could be very beneficial for you guys as well. There are multiple of um, meditations and subliminals on youtube for free that you can figure out to clear your seven chakra stones as well okay it's gonna give you a very nice balanced state of um body mind and soul when you have your seven chakras are cleared okay um don't forget to remove everything that no longer serve you out of your home okay donate all those things that could be beneficial for somebody else and um and get a nice little bath, okay? Put a little bit of salt bath um, <clears throat> in, your, in your water, okay? Going it through your head, okay? And uh, release those um, negativity that is not yours, okay? So no life that And we have land change or grow, okay? So 
uh this life debts uh could be anything in your life any type of situation um <clears throat> that you're going through and you guys want you to learn from it okay and then change your perspective of it and then grow from it this is how your soul will benefit from uh, this situation okay remember that those life that sometimes we are born in families that are already uh, karmic in nature or are holding um some type of um karma cycle and some of you are meant here to break those karma cycles okay but you guys want you to learn from from that change and 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 uh and grow grow you know get your soul growing um when it comes to that so whatever you say you're dealing with um aries it seems like um you're doing the right thing here just say trust over yourself okay uh rise rise up the, the standards when it comes to people places and and things okay don't forget to bring joy and, and, and pleasure to your life okay dance freely okay uh, put on that music and, and and dance like nobody else is watching okay go outside enjoy uh fresh air okay uh, clean and desert up detoxify your um <clears throat> your space in your body here okay and you're gonna feel so much lighter okay and it's definitely time to forgive either yourself or somebody out there okay so let's see how um your love life is getting here How's the love life for Aries? Let's come in Aries love life, Holy Spirit. This week. I'm in Aries love life this week, Holy Spirit. Just fell here. We have give this relationship a chance. Work on this partnership very soon. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you. Okay. We also have forgiven and learning. Has just released and healed the past. You experience more love in your present moments. Okay. So definitely you need to forget somebody here. Okay. And we also have true love. Okay. This is a romance of a lifetime. And you guys are telling you, uh, learn to forgive. Okay. Um and release and heal the past, okay? When you do that, very soon you're gonna um, call in your soulmate, okay? So tell the universe, tell your spirit guys, what is it that you want in life when it comes to love, okay? Uh, if you're dealing with somebody, you guys are telling you, um, work on this partnership, okay? This this um, relationship, the, uh, um, uh, the surface chance here, this could be, you don't have to be only in love, but this could be, uh, a uh, relationship with your family members, your friends, okay? You guys are telling you, work on this partnership, okay? And we also have true love here. This is the romance of a lifetime. So if you're dealing with somebody right now, they're not sure if, if you want to give that chance, okay? And this is in a romantic sense. You guys are telling you, go ahead and do it. This is a, a romance of a lifetime, okay? This is actually true love, okay? So very beautiful energy here. When I see is that it is time for you to forget and learn from the past, okay? Very soon you're gonna attract this person, this this uh this lover that's gonna be not only your lover but your partner, okay, in life and it, it, it's gonna be through love, okay. So very beautiful energy. So whatever it is that you're going through, just uh stay up to optimistic that the sun you have definitely beautiful um uh, relationship coming in for you and it's very very guided by the angels okay it's a very beautiful energy here let's see what it comes in your um money your finances uh, aries and we're gonna go ahead and close this message okay what's coming for aries finances of this spirit how's aries financing this time? and what did they can do to help at this time Okay, so definitely have quite a lot of things here, okay? Let's see here, this is what we got. We have definitely partnership. You might have a partnership coming on when it comes to your career, okay? And you guys telling you, 
uh, it is very good uh, that you actually uh, work with this partnership. Okay, we have allow helpful, supportive partnership into your personal life and career, and both parties benefit as a result. You are receiving help from heaven and from the person who brings needs and skills and resources. Okay, so definitely you have a a, a, <clears throat> a new partnership coming up here. Okay, when it comes to your uh, your career, and you guys want you to. Uh, open your life to this because this is a blessing they're sending you, okay? We also have let go of the guilt, okay? When you allow your life to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forget yourself for what you think you have done or not done and trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from the past mistakes instead of burying yourself for them, okay? So definitely uh, forgive and letting go of the guilt is very important uh, for you guys right now. So uh, this is only come not only once, but a couple times in different decks. So please learn to forgive yourself and others, okay? Release any guilt, anger, um, this situation, okay? It's going to take you very, very far in life as soon as you learn to release those energies and forgive, okay? We also have a quiet retreat here, okay? It is time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts, feelings from your inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. Okay, so Joe guys want you to go ahead and, and get a quiet retreat, okay? Find a place in, there in your home or your uh, community where you can just go by yourself along with your thoughts here, okay? This quiet retreat is going to help you get uh, the answers that you need here, okay? We also have exercise to increase your energy and manifestations abilities, okay? The key to manifesting quickly is to have a very high energy levels, and the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity that you look forward to exercising, and it becomes its only worst, okay? So since the dance card came out here, it seems like Aries, some of you might like to dance. So that's a good uh, physical activity you could do, you know, dance for a good 30 to 45 minutes okay if you like Zumba classes go ahead and join that group uh if you do Zumba at home go ahead and do that whatever is this physical exercise that you need to incorporate in your life do something that makes you um that makes you um that not only is going to help you physically in your body but it's going to make you uh it's going to make be enjoyable, okay? Do something that you enjoy as a physical exercise here. Yeah, it's very important to get those energies back up, okay? And we also have, ask for your needs to be met, okay? Some of you guys need to pray at this time, okay? And we have God and the angels can come to your aid only if you make a free will choice to help, to be helped. And it's mean when asking. It doesn't matter how you ask God for help, but only that you do so. The same holds true with the clearly asking other people to assist you. So it's very important right now that you, um, when you pray, you are uh, asking, uh, you tell God your needs. What is that you need in, in your life for your needs to be met, okay? Uh, without prayer, it's going to be a little more hard for you to accomplish these tasks, okay? You have um, God and resources in the other side that are trying to help you get your needs met. But for that you know, um, God gives us free will. So it's uh, up to you if you open the door to your spiritualism here and ask uh, for your needs to be met during prayer this time. It's very important that um, you understand you do have the free will uh, to pray and ask God for what is it that you need and then encouraging you to do that. Okay, so very beautiful energy here, Aries. And I hope you guys that this message help you in some kind of way uh, if you're dealing with hurt, pain, guilt or anger this time i hope you can learn to forgive yourself forgive others okay stay true to yourself be kind to others okay working this partnership is gonna take you um a long way here don't let your pride get in your way so very beautiful energy here um i hope this helped you some way aries and let's see what um what other signs are in your energy this time and what numbers you could be seeing they could tell you this reading is for you okay let's see aries you could be dealing with a Tauro, Gemini, Libra, heavy Gemini. Okay, Gemini came out here twice. Um, a Libra and a uh, Tauro at this time, okay? All right, numbers you could be seeing at this time. You could be seeing number 18, okay? Number 47, uh, number 14, uh, number 17, okay? You could also be seeing uh, 112, okay? 
7-Eleven uh, in um, number 1212. Okay. Let's put now uh, looking through charms and see what are the things you could be seeing at this time that could help you as well know that this is still reading. Okay, very easy. You could actually be seeing dresses, okay? Or you could be working with in a, in a cloth shop or uh, going through your clothes at this time, okay? You could also be eating out Aries, okay? We have fries here, okay? You could also be seeing owls at this time, Aries. Owls are significant for you here, okay? You also uh, could be dealing with a... Um, relationship okay love relationship here okay two souls coming together here okay you may feel like you're beginning um like um uh, cupid arrow strikes at this time okay we have a heart with an arrow there okay um keys could be a significant here okay you could be moving or you could getting a new uh car or a new boat anything that has to do with keys here mailbox okay um the sun and the moon could be a significant here, okay? And maybe a change of career here or um or something like that. Or you could actually be making your own clothes here with these little machines and um clothes here if you guys are uh, very artistic that way, okay? So those are your messages, Aries. If this message resonates with you, don't forget to hit that like button on your way out. Uh, share and subscribe my content, uh, my content, please. It definitely will help me grow. My channel is, is pretty new, okay? And I'm trying to get a little more uh, support here. So thank you, Aries, and I'll see you guys next time.